Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing modern house. And in today's episode, we're going to make a swing and an amazing tree that the swing will be attached to and a ball and lawns and all sorts of other great things, along with some odd jobs around the house. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And it's good to have you here as we continue to build this amazing modern house. But that house is almost done and we need to make some decisions and the decisions are should we continue to build in this world so what are your guys' thoughts yes or no should we create a new world and kind of make it a little bit more customized being in our creative type world or continue to build this world you know we start you know making additional streets so this street goes over here and there might be a cross street over there and we just continue to add more houses into this area so Definitely let me know what your guys' thoughts on that are. So this could be maybe our modern street where this street has modern houses and over yonder that could be where we have our mountain house design. So definitely let me know what your guys' thoughts on that are if you want to see this house can or this world continue or should we do separate worlds for each house. So I would love to hear your guys' opinions. And look at this. Look at this. I'm so excited. So when you look out this window, look at all the trees and the waterfall and the palm trees out by the by the pool so awesome everything that i wanted for this house is really starting to come together and look at this this is like a jungle paradise out here and all sorts of wonderful things to look at and see it's just amazing but we're going to start our first odd job over at our pool today and we're going to go right on down and we're going to make a little like little floaty thingamabob so this thing is just a little uh just a little decoration item that we're going to have for our pool there we go. I'm just going to check our scale. I think I'm going to go one more over here. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, dang it. I thought that would not happen, but I was wrong, but I will fix said thing. And there we go. So just like a little floaty mat out in the middle of our pool. I think that looks nice. It just adds a little extra detail there. And also, I forgot to mention, I did raise up the uh, spa water to this level from your guys' suggestions, but I forgot to mention that in the previous episode. Still working on the pool lights. Haven't made a decision on that yet. And here is our project for today. And of course here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this really cool. So it's kind of like these two trees, but um, this one's gonna be kind of a, a little bit more special. So it's gonna kind of come up here and raise up over here. And it's gonna have some branches that shoot out over here, I think. And then we could do a swing and some toys on the ground there that maybe the kids of the house like to play with. So always try to use as much place making as possible when doing this. And of course, here's our lawn from our previous episode. And we're going to add some flowers. So I did pick out some flowers for that. But we need to get started on our project for today. So let's get started here. And I'm just going to build up the area where our actual tree will go. So let's just get some dirt down at this point. There we go. As long as we get some dirt down, all will be good. There we go. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to decide. Like I was talking about at the intro there is... What should we do with this world? You know, I'm kind of contemplating, you know, should I create a new world every time we build a new house or should we continue? So I, I do like the fact that we've done well with Scarland, how we stuck with the world. And I think that's what keeps that world pretty cool is all the uh, structures are all built within it. But then also it's kind of cool to start a new world and have, you know, unique train for each one of your builds. So I'm just kind of conflicted, you know, I'm trying to decide on what to do. I would like to maybe beef up that road a little bit and make it look a little nicer. I think that would look good. Um, this area over here is going to build, we're going to build a really cool koi pond. Now we built a koi pond in Scarland, but this is like koi pond like 3.0 or more. This is going to be really sweet because we have a lot of new types of blocks that will really make it have that koi pond feel. We're going to do a waterfall coming off of here and some Japanese maple trees along with a really cool gazebo up at the top with a slight... Um, like Japanese design to it. I think it's going to be really nice. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm liking that. It looks nice. Okay, so let's start running some of our blocks like so. Here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you might you might see sometimes I do these lines a little different for each one. It's for a particular reason to try to um, Give this, see, let me explain this. So if all of these blocks were facing this way, so they're all going like horizontal, 
it would make this area look a lot less long. You know, it wouldn't give it that, that epic, you know, long lawn feel where you go out here and play some ball or something like that. So having all these stripes go that way gives it that feeling. Like here, I want this area to look like it's a little bit longer than it really is. You just try to kind of force perspective it a little bit. There we go. And then we're just gonna put this along here. And then we're going to get that swing. So this swing's pretty cool. You guys had mentioned you really wanted to swing in the front yard, but I mentioned long ago that we would do it in the backyard. So we're finally getting that finally done. So that's pretty cool. And, oh, someone's at the door, but I know what that is. That's my birthday present for my brother. Yeah, should I tell you what it is? There's no, he's, there's no way he's gonna watch this video. There's no way, should I tell you guys? Let me know, let me know if I should. Should I tell you? I want to see comments. I want to see comments in the comment section saying if I should or not. I want to see them. I want to see them. Mm, I'm going to say it. All right. So I was, I was just browsing the Amazons and um, I found some one of the coolest things in there. It's a hot dog. It's a hot dog maker. So you put the hot dogs in these little slots like a toaster. And then you, um, and then you, uh, let me see here. I'm just trying to get this exactly how I want it. And then you put the buns in the bun sections over here. So it, it cooks the hot dogs and it also toasts the buns. And it's in this retro kind of red design. So it looks super cool. That's what I got him. <laughs> oh, there's just probably a bunch of comments like, no, Scar, don't say it. <laughs> uh, but um, I think you'll I think you'll really like it. Hope so. There we go. It took like three or four weeks to come. So that was a problem. And there's also a book in that order that for digital paintings is I really want to add some of that more stuff into my channel, like speed arts and stuff that have like a Minecraft or just video game and nature designs to it. And there's a book on there to kind of give me a little bit of a, a little bit more of a lesson in it. I need a little bit more knowledge in just the basics of Photoshop painting and stuff like that. So that I'm super excited that that finally came. That's what held up the order in the first place. So sorry about the doorbell. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not going to redo the video. I'm not going to stop the video and like edit that out. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, I think we're getting a good tree. So this is a big old oak tree that's lived here for, for very long and the house was all built around it. And I think this is going to be really cool. Kind of hangs over here, gives the lawn a little bit of presence. There we go. Put that up there like that. Just give those branches a little bit of room. All right, there we go. That's how we do because we are super awesome. Get that all built up here like so. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, so my brother, you know, Wally, we play um we played the mini games. So hopefully we can do some more in the future. He's just been really busy again. But um but yeah, he's coming out to visit us. So that's pretty cool cuz he lives a very very long way away now and uh so we don't see him too often anymore. So be good to see him. And he's gonna do some uh, some odd jobs around the house with my dad. Learn how to build and stuff with him. And then we'll probably go um, probably go do some few things while he's here. He's not here for too long, but it's always nice when it, when when he does get a chance to come and uh, and hang out for a little bit. There we go. Get that all down like so. I don't know. We we could we could possibly maybe make a video or two together. That would be pretty cool, right? Yeah. Play a, play a few games together. I don't know uh, if he has, I, he'll probably bring his computer. We could have like the microphone set up for both of us playing in the same room. That would be pretty sweet. Play some games, that would be that would be excellent. All right, get that all down like so. Yeah, so we need to get him. We need to uh, send him another like barrage of messages to uh, get him to play some more games with us because that worked very well. But unfortunately, something happened to his Instagram account. He really loved his Instagram account. So he had some really awesome pictures on there. And he spent a lot of time like planning out pictures and taking them um, in, you know, wit pleasing ways to, you know, have a nice little account on there. But just mysteriously, one day his account just disappeared. Contacts Instagram, they're like, well, we actually have zero record of your account anymore. It just literally just disappeared. And he's like, well, can I have it back? I'm like, nope, there's no way. Just gone. Can I have the name back? Nope, no, it's gone. Well, if you have no record of it, then there should be able to have the name, right? Nope, it's gone. It's just like, really? Really? And it just kind of like puts into like perspective. Like sometimes, you know, social media, you know, it's going to be here one one minute's here and the next minute it can be just completely gone. So never take anything for granted in life. It's like, with, like you know, the YouTube channel. You know, there's this weird odd chance that someday it might just disappear. So... 
You know, it's just like, uh, that, it gave me like this feeling like, man, what if my like channel just like disappeared? I was like, Ugh. man, that would be terrible. That would be terrible. All right, so I'm trying to get this branch particularly orientated so we can have a really cool spot for our swing. So if any of you guys have any suggestions for Wally and his Instagram account, any other like contacts in Instagram or anything to like take a second look at that thing, like how does it can't just disappear? And it wasn't for any, you know, like terms of service violations of any kind or anything like that. It was just literally, they said, yeah, it's just not here anymore. <laughs> how does that happen? I just want to know. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. All this place is just turn it out so awesome. I spend, I spend way too much time on landscaping, but like I always say, when we're doing landscape projects, it adds so much to your, your environment around your building. And sometimes it's just overlooked by, by some people, you know, they build amazing things, but sometimes the, uh, the landscape just sometimes they just forget that the importance of it. And especially when you look at real life buildings and stuff, when they're being built and, um, they, they look okay and, you know, they're all right, especially like Disneyland rides. But when they add that landscape, it's like, wow. That's going to be really cool. It really did all, all of a sudden just really come together. Like that's going to be a really cool like jungle pirate adventure now with all the palm trees and things like that. So it's very important to make sure you guys work on your, your environments and, and custom trees. That's totally the way to go for a really good envir immersive environment in your builds is to really have some really nice custom trees. So the default trees are nice. And if you're in survival and you're, you're limited in supplies, it's, it's a good way to start with a basic tree and just enhance it from there. A lot of Scarland trees are like that as they start out just as a basic Minecraft tree, just a little blocky tree. And then, um, you know, added just a few leaves, a few extra branches here or there, and um, you get something pretty nice in the end. Here we go. All right. So give me one second here. Let me kind of catch my breath and then we'll add that swing and the bouncy ball trampoline and all sorts of other great stuff. So I'll be right back all right and welcome back and look at this heading out our door we got this amazing tree now planted there looking super cool all right so time for some swing in action all right so let's see here what we got so we can come down right here it looks like and we're going to come down like so and then we're going to space that out by one and then we'll come down here like that perfect okay so let's actually dig down one block here so we can get right under here like so and then we'll place the block like so like that just really simple design like that perfect awesome now this is kind of in my way a little bit let's actually cut that down just a little bit just so it's not blocking our swing all the way all right good and then just a ball here just as you know some people were playing out here and this is the closest i can come to like a ball i think this is actually a perfect minecraft ball because it's you know i i picture it being sort of rubbery and it's bouncy so how much better can you get and why didn't i bounce there we go there we go awesome look at that i want to go out here and swing and play with that ball kick it around all right perfect that looks great all right so let's clear out that clear out you clear out you and you and let's see let's get out some of our standard designs for the area here we go get that guy out and head on down through our magical inventory and get that perfect okay so over here i want to do some more vines like we've done in the past over here so these guys just kind of crawl up the side of the house a little bit and then they just kind of mask some of these blank walls and give the house just a little bit of character and soften it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we'll take that out like that. There we go. And then we'll just run that all the way. No, no, you go down, you go there, and you go like that. Perfect. And then we'll just stick a couple big guys back here, maybe cut you out and just stick one or two of these ones right up here. We'll sample you and let's say we get rid of you and you there we go nice just kind of incorporate that design in there just a little bit and then we can add just a little more of this in here just to keep it from having too much of the ground showing through so we'll just fill that in a little bit there we go these are good just filler plants like that and put enough another fern there nice good okay and over here we can just dig down a little bit there we go add just a little more here or there have that plant kind of crawl up the side of the tree a little bit. And then right here, we can go here. We can go like, oops, no, 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 you go back there. You go back there. 
and put that like that. Nice. Okay, and then moving on over here. Moving on up over here. All right, get that down. Perfect. Swing on over here. And I'm saying maybe, maybe two more of those plants right there. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks really nice. And one more here. One more there. No, 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 no. That's too much. But that, that, there we go. Nice. Yeah, that's really appealing. That's nice. I like that. It's just kind of a nice little soft design there. So it's not too much the same as everywhere else. And I'm pretty excited for the koi pond. I think the koi pond is going to look pretty cool. Where we'll do similar to what we did over there. But we've gotten so many new blocks since we last did a real like koi pond at the Scarland house. So we've got all those new like andesite blocks that we can use instead of gravel. It's a much more appealing looking block. So that'll be good. And we, uh, what else have we gotten? So we can incorporate a little bit of cobblestone. That'll look nice um, as just kind of like a river type rock. So yeah, there's tons of new blocks that we can experiment with to try to make that look a little bit different, a little bit nicer. That'll be our version two or version 3.0 maybe. There we go, get that all down like so. Nice. Oh yeah, that's that's really nice. That looks very, very, very cool. Okay, so we're gonna head over here. I'm gonna clear up my inventory just a little bit. And I wanna add some flowers to this area. And I'm gonna go with the tulips. So let's start in the back here. And we're just gonna kind of fly in here. And we're just gonna put some reds and some oranges down. I think this will just add a little extra color that we needed. And I got this advice from you guys in the previous episode. You know, I ever told you how fond I am of you guys and how awesome you are for giving me such amazing suggestions when I'm stumped and I can't come up with anything? I love you guys. You guys are just the greatest. Just the greatest. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I need to sample some of that brown dirt. There we go. Get that. Oh, no, I killed my flower. I, I smashed him right in the head. Now he's, now he's mad at me. All right. Come over here and just, when you're doing this, just try not to, to like, you know, just mix it up a little bit. You know, put one there, but don't put like, you know, a bunch like that. That doesn't look right. But, you know, throw in a guy here and maybe maybe just one more spaced out like that maybe. And then if you want to get crazy, throw in maybe a white flower right there maybe. Yeah, yeah that's all right. And then I'll come over here and I think I could throw in maybe one there and there. Over here, let's do a red. We've done quite a bit of orange. So then on this side, we can carry on another red flower. Maybe another red one there. And on the back side here, we could do maybe just a white flower or two. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer, a lot more appealing, a little bit more color. We can even throw in maybe one more there. Yeah, that looks good. So yeah, that looks substantially better. Just adds a little bit of color in there. I think that is really nice. And there we go. Let's give it a little overview of our tree. And of course, we can continue to refine our tree when needed. You know, add in a branch or two. You know, we can come up here and just, you know, add a few branches here or there. But other than that, I think this tree came out very good. Actually, a little bit better than I would um, envisioned. And well, guys, this has been Good times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. But um, I think that's good. So let's finish up this last tree over here. And then we will have this part just about done. Then we can move on to the lawns and some additional trees I want to build on the other side right over there. So get that all in there like so. So like I was talking about before the little uh, break there was, you know, don't let...